I'm trying something new with my fashion. So if it looks bad, don't let me know. I don't want to know if I look ugly. Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Passy, and this is my Asian Readathon vlog. For um, for those of you who may not know, May is Asian History Month. Uh, um, Cindy from Read with Cindy, which I'm gonna rank above, is having a, read a reading marathon to read Asian books, and there are some prompts in here, and I'm planning to do all the prompts. So we're gonna talk about them. The first prompt is read a book by an Asian author. I decided to read Severance by Ling Ma. It's about this girl, this lady named Candace, that she works. she's working so hard that she f doesn't notice that the apocalypse is happening. And it's about her like going off from there. So now I'm, it's a science fiction apocalypse, uh, post-apocalyptical type story. Read a book featuring an Asian character by an Asian author. I am reading uh, The Memory Police by Yoko Awada. The main character, I don't think they give the name for the main character here, but the work is translated from Japanese. So I'm, con I'm assuming that the work is a Japanese main character. It's about like this island where every day there is like people are forgetting the like for example the or something a bird they forget what a bird is what the entity of a bird is the thing flying in the sky don't know what that is for and who that is and it's like they keep forgetting things and there's like some people that remember these things and it's about what happens from that premise it's very interesting read a story by an asian read a story by an asian character featuring an asian character or an asian author who's different from you so that for that one i decided to read i decided to read gyo by jinji ito it is a manga it's about this like this girl smells like this really like rancid disgusting smell and things go on and things go on from there i'm not gonna tell you anything because i feel like anything with the two if you tell anyone anything it's gonna ruin the book so there's that gyo by jinji ito it's very interesting to read something recommended by Asian person, by an Asian. Um, Cindy recommended uh, this online graphic novel called Boat, The Boat, and it's like Vietnamese, and it's about like these people that are coming from Vietnamese to America and about that journey, which is really interesting. Um, there is also a group book to read, Little Fires Everywhere by Celeste Ng, but with this book, I already read this back last year last december i read this so i don't think i'm reading it again i made my sister read it and she really liked it you know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna watch the movie on hulu because i haven't watched it yet instead i'm gonna watch it because i already read this i don't feel the need to read it again even though celeste ng is my main bitch we love her she has not done me wrong ever so she's great and there are also a couple other stuff that i wanted to read even though it's not like I just wanted to because they're by Asian authors. Um, there is Pachinko by Mei Jin Lee, and it's about this girl that's Korean, and the, it's set in the early 1900s, and she's Korean, and um, she gets pregnant by this married guy, and then she ends up marrying this sickly minister, and they move to Japan, and the story gets on from there. I also wanted to read another graphic novel, um, Laura Dean Keeps Breaking Up With Me by Mar Mariko Tamaki and Rosemary Valer O'Connell. O'Connell. And this is like really a lot of people recommend this it has four stars on goodreads so i'm interested to see what the whole deal of shtick is all about if it is good or not so we're gonna do that i'm gonna do that and you're gonna find out what happens um it's my first saturday not having class or work so we're gonna enjoy it it's 10 o'clock i just woke up it's a good day in uh but today i started i started books because you know it's asian readathon i'm trying to finish all my books in one week as i showed you before all the books that i read i'm gonna be reading um so i started with gyo by jinji ito like i mentioned before it's about a town with uh where there's like this, this girl starts smelling this really bad stench in this town with her on a vacation with a boyfriend to this island and it goes from there i can't tell you anything anything i tell you can and will ruin the book so I really good it's a manga i really like the like i like the the style i like the style but not gonna lie the girlfriend is low-key annoying um she's kind of annoying all she does is scream She's not really an active character in this, which I get. I'm like, she's not the main character, but like, she's kind of annoying, but 
to my text. I got to page 128, then I fell asleep because I didn't feel like reading. I don't know. I took yesterday off. Yesterday was the first. Like, I took it off. I didn't feel like reading. I just, I finished the diviners yesterday. And then I was like, ugh, let me take a whole, like, 12-hour break. I'm over this. So today, I'm planning to garden. To I'm trying to start a garden. So I'm planning to go gardening outside. And I'm going to be reading an audiobook. And the audiobook is Pachinko by Min Jin Lee. A generational fiction. I think it's nonfiction. It's generational. It seems very interesting. I've never read. It's set in Korea. I'm, no. Is it Korea? No. Well, she's, she, her home is in Korea, but the person she marries is going to Japan. So I'm assuming she's going to be living in Japan. Um, it's very interesting. I've never read any, I haven't read much Asian books that are set in Asia. I've mostly read Asian American books that are set in America. So I'm really interested. So we'll see how that goes. Um, I also got new books. What is on the side? What is this? What is that? I've been buying so much books recently, which is a bad habit that I'm putting myself on an official book buying ban until the end of the summer because I'm I have enough books to read because I'm trying to finish my entire TBR. But like, I've bought so much books that like I had a book outlet package, and when I opened it, I didn't even know I was like I ordered this, I don't even recall, and like I think this the only thing this um this pandemic is causing me to do is like telling me oh so I'm staying home. So I need more books to read. So I'm, so I'm just buying a lot of books. So I have to like, I have to stop. I could also do a clothing haul because I got some book come clothes from Thread Up, which is understandable because usually I go thrifting like every season, once a season. That's the only time I go shopping unless if there's like a boring event. And I haven't gone thrifting in like a year and a half at this point. So then I got really fed up. So I realized I knew about Thread Up, but I never actually used Thread Up. So I got thread up. I got some clothes from thread up and it's kind of cute. Anyways, uh, I'm going to be listening to my audiobook. Alexa, pause song. Okay, so I am, I read Pachinko all day while I was doing my gardening. I'm pretty sure I'm like 39% through, but I'm not sure how far is 39%. Okay, with Pachinko, I'm on page 195. I am about 39% through and right now it's a five star read i love it i love everything about it i was 16 percent of the way through and i almost cried 30 percent almost cried the main character i love it her husband i love it like i told you before it's about this girl that gets pregnant by this that by this married man and then she does obviously she doesn't stay with him and then she marries this minister that's going to job japan and she stays in japan um one thing i was scared is that he was gonna abuse her but i'm really happy that he didn't do that i'm really happy that abuse wasn't a part of this which is really good I'm, I, re I really like it i care for the main character i care for a partner i care for the whole family i care for the son i care for everyone in here and i really like this it's really i'm happy that i found this i found this on like this online forum i don't know where i found it but like i am not rushing this i ref i refuse to rush this book so I'm going to take my time. I'm not going to read it tonight. I'm going to read some more tomorrow at work. But like, I want to finish Gil. As I said earlier, I didn't get any farther into it. So I'm still on page 129 from last night. I went crazy over graphic novels. Because I saw graphic novels. I was watching Area of Set. And I just, <laughs> I went crazy. I was like, on Amazon, I was like, I want all of the novels. Because I want to have a graphic novel shelf. So I'm buying a lot. I'm getting a shorter self, so I'm gonna do that. But anyways, so I got Sheets by Brenna Thumbler. It's about like this ghost that haunts this washing machine. So I'm really, I really, I wanna read that. Cat Boy by uh, Benji Nate. It's about this cat boy. It's really their best friends. I'm really looking forward to it. It's so fucking wholesome looking. I got the first three of the saga series it's really interesting i really like it apparently it's about like this these people it's like sci-fi um i'm after, i'm heading to get the other six but i'm gonna get them in three installments i also got bastard and i think it's like this mother son duo a heist they're heist they're doing heists and shit and the most exciting one i got the tea dragon society this was really popular last year 
in the year before that. I want to get, there's a third one coming, but I got only this one. And <sighs> it's so fucking cute. Oh my god. Oh my god, this is so cute. <laughs> Oh my god, oh my god, look at this shit. Look at this shit. It's just sad. I'm gonna love this. I'm gonna enjoy every second of this. I'm gonna let you go and I'm gonna go read Gyo. And finish Gyo. Alright, it's currently 6 30 on Sunday. I just got off work. I came home, I showered, and now I'm ready to read. But first I'm gonna update you on what I've been doing. I finished Gyo by Jinja Ito. I decided to give this three stars it wasn't bad it was interesting i like the, the 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 drawing style and the story but i can't say that i was impressed with the storytelling and stuff like that the ending wasn't like happy ending it was like a dystopian ending it was interesting it was an interesting concept not gonna lie it was an interesting concept but in the end i was just like what is the reason for all this but i would write that i didn't realize this but there is also this short story in there called um i am still reading picture the enigma of amigara fault it's like this place where there's like this earthquake happens and these people find this thing that's like people shipped holes in like the uh, in the in the stone and they're trying to figure out what happens it was very interesting i gave that one 3.75 stars it was a very interesting conco i am on i'm on page 396 i have this much left i read a lot of it at work today i only have like 200 pages left well, i'm on 396 not two 100 pages left that's about like 100 pages it was very interesting also she is still a five stars bro she is still a five stars like there is no comparison like this is really good i really love this so far it talks about intergeneration generational racism and it really talks about like racism between the like in the times of like the wars in the night in the 20th century it talks about all the racism and animosity between the japanese and the korean and the way that they treated each other and it just showed how how racism is the same all around the world in the sense that a group of people decide that this group of person is disgusting and is dirty or dogs because they are it doesn't necessarily matter like what what you do it's very hard to change that mindset that people set themselves into and that's like something that can shape generations and like generation intergenerational poverty and how people grew up from poverty this book talked about it and how no matter how rich you are if someone's gonna be racist towards you they're gonna be racist towards you anyways and they're gonna find something to be racist about and it's very interesting um it's very interesting um sonja the main character i will fucking die for this family I would die for this family. Noah's a fake ass bitch. Hansu, like the Hansu, I don't know if you read this, you know what I'm talking about, but like, I don't know how to feel about him. Like in one moment, I'm like, I hate you, you're annoying. In the other instant, he's a complex character. The author said, here's complexity, bitch, and watch you not hate him. I was like, you're right. <laughs> I can't hate him. One reason why I like Sanja as a character is like, she very much reminds me of my own mother and the way that how strong-headed she is how hard she works to make sure that her children that her sons have a good life like for me for my when my mother came, brought me and my sisters to america she worked very hard she had to make sacrifices and she had to do things that i myself didn't know i would want to do and she had to go through so much for me and my sisters all the things that Shanha went to all the, it's like just how hard of a working person she is that's like one thing about my mom like my own mother like she's so hard working even now at her old age she still works so hard and it's like really admirable it's really interesting and it's really it's really hitting me I don't know if there's a book for everybody, but it's like really hitting me on this. And when I read this, when I read about Sanha, she just reminds me of my own mother and my own upbringing as an immigrant in a country that I came to because I was looking for a better life and how different it is. And that's not to say I was raised in a time where African-American black people were, you, were treated like actual garbage. I was, I'm born at the best time it's been ever. But you can still see that. And the history that you hear about 
and the way that song part just works perseverance because she says i think at one point she says um she said um noah and mazuzo mas Mosa mosazu um they are my life like that's a simple comment that most mothers say about their own children hopefully but like when she said that i was like shit i am my parents life and like it just makes me want to try harder to be a better daughter and not be an asshole sometimes and do the it's very hard hitting to me it's really hitting me different and i'm so sad that it's ending it's really good <laughs> it's really good i can't write a paper about this book there is also a queer character piece of side character it's not it's not important um there is exploration of i don't know like um it's not a lot of exploration of sexuality but it's a little bit in there and yeah there is parts in here that is like kind of not the um i mean it's not the author that's sex sexy but the comments that like the way some way like the way that some women are treated but that's like um understandable for the time and the way the author writes it i don't see it as offensive because that's like a work based in the 20th century in a conservative country at the time like i understand and like read this book it's really fucking good so when i inevitably finish reading P pachinko I have two options. I could read Unearth We're Briefly Gorgeous by Ocean Vuong. The um he wrote a poem, but here's a poetry. He's a poet, he's Vietnamese. Um it's he's writing story uh, he's writing letter to his mother about growing up and it's like a perspective kind of thing and I'm really interested in this. I have the audiobook for this too, and it's really interesting. I'm looking forward to it. It sounds really interesting. And as I'm obsessed with graphic novels, I had to find an out graphic novel by an Asian author. I was gonna buy like 10,000 Jinja Ito books that I was like, wait a minute, <laughs> relax. You don't know if you're gonna like him yet. But I found Laura Dean Keeps Breaking Up With Me by Rosemary Valora Kano and Mariko Tamaki. So it's queer. It's about this girl that has um, Mar Laura Dean keeps breaking up with, I think her name is Jackie. No, Freddie. Freddie and it's really interesting i want to read this i want to read at least one book tonight let me get emotionally attacked by Ch pachinko i'm not even done with it and i'm already recommending it to like my co-workers my family members my friends i'm like read this book i'm so happy that is one of the books that i started this read on with even if the other books end up being trash which i doubt at least i know that i had a really good book a five star read five star when you find good content and you don't know how to act because you're like this existed this is why i love reading when you sniff through all that garbage all that mediocrity to find a gem this is why you read this is why i read to find a gem and just die and not want it to end five fucking stars not gonna lie kinda loved it the ending the last paragraph is weird like if people has read this Sanja Sanja sweetie relax hold on I'll get back oh excuse me excuse me Squeeze me. Um, this is really good. Like, Sanja is. I love her. Protect her at all costs. All costs necessary. Protect her. Her sons, Solomon. I love this book. Though there was downside, there was a lot of talks about like women. And like how women were like only hookers. I guess that was like time period reflective. It was a time of war. So there wasn't much a woman can do in the 19th, in the 20th century, early middle 20th century. It was really good. Hi, can you please stay down? 
Can you please lay down? Yes, I love you too, baby. Can you please lay down? Noah's a fake ass bitch, and that's on period. Like, Noah's fake as fuck. And I'm gonna stand by that. <laughs> Alexa, what time is it? It's 6 17 p.m. Yeah, I did some gardening. It's not even gardening. Um, at this point in the process of the garden, it's not really like I haven't planted anything. I'm still cleaning the land um the part. I was I had somewhere else that I was gonna do it, but then my dad told me like do another corner, which is a good idea. I was thinking of that corner, but I didn't do it because I wasn't sure if they were gonna be okay with it. But since my dad went along and the part I did choose, um my dog likes that corner. So I'll, get, I'll let her have it. I'm like, you know what? You can have it. Uh, I read, if I'm scrunching my face, it doesn't hurt. I just force a habit. I read and finished Severance by Ling Ma. Um, I think I'm gonna be rating it three stars. Yeah, it was an interesting read. It's about like this girl that there's an apocalypse happening, but she just lives, she just works her life. And before she realizes it, there's an apocalypse. You could say she's a workaholic, but she's a workaholic with like, she's a workaholic for like reasons that I'm not gonna tell you. But so, um, she works for like this publishing company. So then, um, there are uh, like, there was like this, this fever that starts. It's like a fever from like China. It's very, um, <laughs> parallel to our universe. It's kind of similar. I'll tell you about the similarities and people get sick it's like from a fungal infection and things like that you get it through a fungus and then you just become like a zombie essentially and then like you just keep doing tasks that you've been doing anyways and then like that's like your life that funny anecdote there was a part in the book where she was like oh i went downstairs in my office building it was full of toilet paper i was like that's how you know this is fake because bitch that was the first thing gone and then it's a dual timeline it's one timeline talking about what happened in the past in the timeline of uh of where she is currently she's like with these group of people i can't say I don't mind the dual timeline. It was interesting. The dual timeline I felt was properly done. Why am I looking in the camera where I should be looking here? That's why I have a mirror here. There are things that happened in there that I was like, it's very similar to what's happening right now. Um, I'm sorry if this is triggering you. I feel like it is. It's one of those books that unless you can like, if someone reads this right now, they might like get freaked out or something um, or like feel triggered. Unless you're okay with reading books about like the apocalypse, then don't read this because this is what this is about. Reading it, I just kept making comparisons to like our current time, which I guess could be a bit disconcerting for some, but I didn't mind it. Um, the way that everything was handled, the government didn't handle it properly, and then people were doing all these things. But she ended up having the main character, Candace. She's Asian. She's Chinese. Um, and she ends up having to like work through the apocalypse because she has no choice and then when she finally realizes it she's like oh shit it's an apocalypse why am i reading it a three star i felt like it was slightly anticlimactic i expected like a big like show off ending and then it wasn't the ending is like very open ending which i don't mind it it's understandable for the setting i don't think it's a bad book but i didn't have my hands already hurt <laughs> Do I have to? I don't want to do this anymore. I'm sorry. I'm not doing this. I'm not doing this. I refuse to do this because I'm lazy. I'm just gonna do it this way like I always do. Um, the author had didn't make me care for the characters. I didn't have anyone that I cared about. It was whatever. The pacing was fine. The writing was fine. It was, it was a pretty quick read though. Granted, I did use an audiobook. It wasn't bad. But I'm still gonna rate it three stars. I really appreciated the reference to how it is today, to how things are today. And like, I guess it also showcased how little corporate America cares for their workers. Cause like, there's this woman, right? And then they make her work in a building by herself for like three months. Like, it really, I mean, we already been you, corporate America didn't care. Corporate America caters to capitalism, and capitalism only cares about money if it doesn't give you money then it's not valuable it was interesting to say the least i know anyone that has like hair like mine is basically like screaming at the screen okay 
so uh i'm in the middle of filming but i'm gonna update you so last night i read and finished lord dinky speaking on with me by mariko tamaki and rosemary o'connell um it was meh it had unlikable characters it was based in high school i really liked the art style it was very cute i liked all the queer diversity in there it's interesting i can see how people are giving it four stars but for me personally i'm going to be giving it three stars the thing is the characters were flawed and like any circumstances give me morally gray give me flawed characters but give it to me for a good reason and the author didn't make me care for them I mean, for me to rate a book four stars, I have to care for the characters to some extent, which is like, I don't do that often here. So I don't think this book deserves four stars from me because I didn't find myself caring for any of the characters in here. So I also, I also, I started uh, The Memory Police. Like I told you before, it's about a island where people have are missing memories of things and when they miss the memories they don't remember anything I, i'm 20 percent of the way through yeah i'm on chapter eight and that's on page 55 i don't have anything grandier and out of this world to say about it it's a book what can i say it's a book all right i'm back um today is friday i haven't spoken to you guys since i think wednesday I think it was Wednesday. I've done some things. Um, so now, since today's Friday, I wanted to finish all my books by today. The only things I have left are like smaller things. Since the last time, I read on Earth with Baker Gorgeous, Ocean Vyong. I read this two times. First time, five stars. Second time, three stars like that seems like a jump the first part i really liked it and i really like got really into the writing and stuff like that and it just blinded me to the book and then when i read it again i realized how like jumpy the writing was it's a letter to his mother it's like he talks about different things and he keeps jumping to different subjects he doesn't like get a point the the, the letter is not linear and like consistent it's like always changing and i guess if you're not patient that could like be confusing like a 70 percent, he has more of like a linear thought process but like in the beginning it's almost like he didn't like the middle part almost like he didn't know what he was doing he didn't like have a, a, a clear idea into where he was going with it so i guess I, that made me give it three stars but then i rounded it to about four stars on goodreads which is still a good book but <sighs> it's different i am still reading um the memory police i wanted to finish it last night but i fell asleep and it was like 2 a.m tonight though i have no work tomorrow so then i can finish this i also have the boat it's a online graphic novel so i'm gonna read that too and then we're gonna talk about it later um so my book of the month book came so we're gonna see it says a good marriage by kimberly mcwright and it has this so apparently someone gets framed for murder and she has to save him. That's what it's about. But yeah, I have to clean my room because my room is like a hot mess. So let's get that done. So today, it's the next week, I finished the two books, so I finished The Memory Police and The Boat by Nan Lee. I ended up having to rate it like 3 stars. It was an interesting premise, but like the story felt like lackluster. I just felt like things were missing, I didn't care for the characters, the ending was kind of stupid. It didn't do much for me. I thought it was going to be like a really good book, I came in here. I didn't come in with high expectations, because I saw the, the, the rating on Goodreads, but I also didn't come in like expecting like actual garbage. Like i felt meh like there wasn't anything like particular about it that i that just made me feel like it was a wrong book i just didn't feel like i cared for the characters i just didn't feel like there was anything special about it that made it like different from any other apocalyptical books that i read about and i liked i mean one i do have things that i liked i liked the writing style i remember like when i had my one of my college courses had this class where you read the story by this guy 
and it was like he was like a minimalist writer he gave you like the barest he, it's like he does he doesn't give a lot in his writing and he's like he leaves a lot of things left to be interpret uh, left up for interpretation which i at the time when i read it i felt it was annoying because i'm a nosy bitch but like with this book i think that was like that's what i feel this book was like i feel like this book was like it left many things up for interpretation and i really like that about it I liked that it didn't give me everything. It gave me something. It gave me enough to like keep me wanting to read more and to understand it. But it didn't give me everything I need to know. And in the end, it still didn't answer all my questions. I wanted to know how did this thing start? Why? Why is it happening? Like I wanted to know who is behind these disappearances. I wanted it to go into depth about like I wanted there to be like you know like you know in your dystopian book there's like a boss fight where they find out some random white guy in a suit is doing all these things but it didn't give me any of that it gave me absolutely nothing and i really like that it didn't um with the writing i like the writing it was very easy i think that's one thing with the other author when he was a minimalist that i liked too like the writing was like very easy to understand it wasn't like it wasn't trying to be anything that it's not he's like here's what's happening here's what it is and like the font in the book the book was like i read that book really fast i read the majority of it in like one day and i like that because the writing was like really it wasn't like small writing one the writing is easy to read two the writing isn't like tiny teeny tiny you know like if you read diviners like a whole page is like two minutes like a whole like chapter long like the writing is so tiny the writing is so tiny and it, gets, it just gets annoying because you're like it just keeps going and going because i kept wondering like how are they getting these disappearances done how are they happening why is why are they happening they don't talk about who the main characters names are they don't talk much about name the only person's name they give is like another, a guy named r and then that's it everything else is like they don't give you the name they got, I, think, I think that's like an aspect of minimalist writing they don't give you the names and stuff like that so i also read uh the boat by nam lee it's this uh this online graphic novel about the journey from uh vietnam australia and it's around like the time of the vietnam war and things like that but immigrants were migrating to australia and it's like a boat ride and stuff like that and it's like it could be very hard and like people could die because it's a lot of people in a boat and it's like very uh stressful because there's like people at sea and then something happens with this boat and thing and the story goes on from there the story itself was again meh the story on its own is like a three-star read it was a three-star read if there wasn't anything special about it um i felt like it was rushed i wished the story had been longer um i did like the little tidbits they gave on the side about like backgrounds of things like that i think yeah i think it was like very rushed it could have been longer and like the, i wish there had been more depth more exploration of some of the characters i felt like the ending wasn't really an ending it was just a stop it was just a stop but with the format the format that i read the story was, was like this interactive online graphic novel it was very interesting i really liked that format it had audios the move the screen was moving things were shaking that was singing that was it was really good it was really good i really liked it. i've never seen anything like that before and because of that i ended up bumping, bumping the book up a star because of the format that it was written in it's not a five star because i felt like the story was just lacking and i couldn't give a lacking story a five star but because of the format and the way that it was written i felt like it was warranted to give it an extra star. Let me finish my hair and then I'm gonna talk about every everything that I read. I have a package from Amazon. So this is the wrap up. You already know what I read. I'm gonna show you what I read and then I'm just gonna talk about the one that I really liked and I'm gonna tell you why I really liked it again because I feel like you don't need to hear what I read twice. I read Kikyo by Junji Ito. I read Pachinko by Mi Jin Lee. I read Lori Dean keeps breaking up with me. I read Severance by Ling Ma. I read On Earth We're Briefly Gorgeous by Ocean Vyong. I read The Memory Police by Yoko Oaga. And I also read The Boat by Nam Lee. So let's talk about the ones that I really liked and I think you should read yourself. I only really liked three of them. Out of all of these, I loved these two. Ocean Vyong and Min Jin Lee's book. Um, you know, as Ocean Vyong, it's a writer he wrote to his mother about growing up in America as of and how hard it is and about him coming into his sexuality as a adult and about loss and love and drug addiction and physical abuse mental abuse very good you should read this even though like it jumps around sometimes and it gets kind of confusing if you're not paying close attention i still think the writing is really beautiful and the comparisons the way he wrote is really beautiful and if you like books like this or like i feel like i like lie with me by um philip benson and i also like um and philip benson's lie with me reminded me 
of call me by your name by Andrea Osman. I feel like this is kind of like the same thing not because they're queer but like the whole like mentality but this is more like retrospective and like storytelling but yes um he has another book um oh night sky no exit wounds it's a poem book I'm reading it because I really liked him. I'm, I want to support him all I can because I really like what he does. Um, I also liked Pachinko by Min Jun Lee. I really cared for the characters. I just fell in love with the way it was written, the storytelling. Everything about this was perfect. This is what I wanted out of this um, marathon. To just find really good books. So this is great. Another one that I felt like is good to mention. The Boat by Nam Lee. I really liked it. Not because of the storytelling aspect. But because of the way that it was told. And the fact that it is talking about real life effect but it's talking about things in the past and how it was for um immigrants vietnamese immigrants coming to australia in the 1970s so that was really interesting and i really like that so i say you should read that if anything it's free it's online i'll put the link in the bio it's really good with with gyo i didn't love this but you could like this if you really like um like very uh like gory graphic novels or like just i i not gonna lie, I am gonna read more Junji Ito. I was a plan already. This is just a step into the forest. So this is good, but it just wasn't the best. I would recommend this for the writing style and the minimalist kind of writing. That's it. Not the story, nothing else. Just because of that. I thought it was a success. I read things that I... Mm, so I read some things that I probably wouldn't have picked up if I didn't talk, if I didn't know about them. I found new favorite authors. I found new perspectives. I found things i need to research and read more about because i need to read more about asian culture and asian history and things like that so that's really interesting so uh see you in the next video bye <laughs>